Hey guys, Lynn here. Welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. In this one today, I'm showing you guys the best spot in game to make money from, farming animals to sell. This will get you between $40 and $60 every 5 to 10 minutes. It really depends on a bunch of factors though, but you won't find anything better than this other than playing regular missions. There are a couple of other things that you can do that will make you around the same amount of money, and I will mention them quickly. If the video is helpful, a like is appreciated. Now there are a couple of spots in game that are good for farming. Probably the best I've found so far other than where I'm showing you in the video is the swamps around Saint Denis collecting exotic birds like egrets and killing alligators for example, although I have to admit I hate farming there. The most valuable animals are of course large animals like bison and all predators like bears and cougars, but they are much rarer, more dangerous and require a lot more time to skin, so birds and small critters are far better to farm. So having spent hours and hours of testing, I found a location that is full of really great animals and is really easy to rinse and repeat. The location is this island here on Flatiron Lake. Here is why it is the best location. It's relatively small but still abundant with animals. You can cover all the island in around 10 minutes, killing every animal there. You can restart your game and repeat really easily, and the animals here are actually some of the highest selling ones for their size. For example, the Pacific Loon, which gives you the same amount of money as the exotic egrets. Iguanas, easy to kill, decent price to sell. Rabbits, they're surprisingly valuable as well, you get over a dollar for one. Muskrat, one hit kill, just under two dollars per pelt. If you can find a really good muskrat spawn, it's a really good way to get money quickly. And there are tons of other animals that will spawn here as well. I always seem to find turkeys and loads of turtles, but you will come across other things like foxes and coyotes as well, and you can just kill all of them. Don't forget to check the water as well. Steelhead trout spawn here around the island. You can simply shoot them and pick them up from the water for $1.70 each. So yes, yeah, a great place to go. It has pretty much most of the most valuable small critters. All can be killed in one hit and take only a second to skin because they're small a great place to come and there's no alligators here present as well which is always a bonus. Now the amount of money you get here will depend on different factors. One of the main things is pelt quality. If you have the special edition you will have access to the varmint rifle for free at the gunsmith at the start of the game which is the only weapon you should be using. If you don't have it yet then save up money and buy it as soon as possible as of course you do get more money for perfect quality pelts. All these little animals require the rifle to get high quality pelts and it's definitely a lot easier than using a bow and arrow. So you can see me here selling all the stuff I collected on this island. It's just over 10 minutes and there's tons of it. You're really close to the butcher and roads as well, which is great. So you don't have to travel far to sell everything and then you can just return. And it's definitely a lot more exciting to hunt here than it is in the swamps. But if you prefer to do the swamps, then you will make around the same amount of money. Now, if you're not wanting to hunt, there is one other method that I've covered already, and that is to simply farm jewelry. If you watched my first video on good loot spots, I cover this. Inside of this farmhouse here in West Elizabeth, there is a cupboard with two pieces of jewelry inside. You can loot these, reload your game and loot them again. It takes less than a minute and you can collect around 20 pieces every 10 minutes. You can make some good money this way, however the value of the jewelry you find is random, so you can get $4.50 per item or you can only get a few dollars. Over an hour, you can get hundreds of dollars difference, but still you're guaranteed to make at least a couple hundred with chance for more. However, the problem with this one is ever since I posted that video, there have been tons of videos for that exact same location. And if you go there, there's usually a ton of people there. So it's a bit of a battle every time just to get that jewelry. So it's maybe not the best way to do it now. But guys, that is it for this one. I have spent most of my time so far in Red Dead Online looking for ways to make money other than missions. So far, these are the two best ones, farming for jewels and farming the animals I showed you, or you can do the egrets and alligators as well. Although if you've collected all the exotics for Algernon Wasp like I did, then this will just bring back bad memories. And the jewelry one has a lot of people doing it now. So the island here in Flat Iron Lake is definitely the way to go. Subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of my Red Dead Online videos, including guides, new content info, and title updates. I'll be back later today with another video. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.